Welcome back everyone and thanks for clicking the video. Today we are playing the ultimate swords master but I cheated and what I mean by that is um, someone in the comments explained to me there is a glitch in the game that allows you to basically pick whatever starting relic you want to and here is what I'm having. So everything is sword master, sword fighter adjacent. So we can have elven ears because I think elves are good swordsmen. Um, Blades of Sympathy, the Dark Katana, Assassin's Blade, then the Ops Mask because we are undercover. We have a map, but that's more just to have a simpler run. We have the Kasmin's Eric Cloak, which makes us um, evade all attacks after taking damage. Kind of going into an um, rage mode, if you will. Um, we have the Turtle Shell because of... Ninja Turtles, I guess. <laughs> we have a headband, we have vampire eyeglasses, um, kind of leaning towards, uh, what's his name, Blade from Marvel, and some dice. And obviously our favorite spell, the most amazing looking spell, the Seven Swords. Alright, so let's see how this is gonna go when I assemble my perfect build. So... Oh, okay, we are starting here. I mean, damage, uh, you cannot complain, I'd say, right? The only thing, I'm not gonna run straight to the portal. Well, I'm definitely not gonna run straight to the portal. Um, because there is only one single thing that would make the whole build here better. And that's if we have um, the fire enhancement. Uh, rage or whatever it's called that's the only thing and we don't have it all right so we run to the boss we don't need any other items actually we don't even need gold except for the arcana there but yeah and if you paid attention or if you have seen actually my very first video where i tried kind of the build without using the glitch I did not bring the cursed item with me. Although it is amazing to have like a 75% cooldown reduction. Um, yeah, how to say? It's not the best when you are um, a melee fighter. Because it's, I mean, the 25% damage increase that the enemies are getting, because again, it's a cursed item. It, yeah, it is tough, but. The worst thing is actually their speed. Yeah, enemies being 25% faster, uh, that one is actually tough, right? So that's what's making the whole build here a little bit tricky. Um, but I'll definitely give it a try again, like a normal run without the cheat code, if you will, just to see how it's gonna go but again it's oh dang it it's uh, heavily luck depending and sometimes you have luck and sometimes you don't that's why i really wish for wizard of legends 2 they would kind of have a reroll system but yeah anyway so i mean obviously with this build here there is no problem against normal enemies the problem, and actually I mentioned it in, in my kind of normal test run. Right, you're getting very cocky because, again, you're doing amazing damage. And you always think like, ah, you know what, I, I, I can get another hit in. And that's where you're going to get caught off guard, right? And the problem is not only with, like, not being overpowered as I am right now. Here, actually, it is even worse. What I mean by that is, you are pumping out such an insane damage in such a short period of time that, um, at least starting at the second boss, that might F you up. So, that being said, I said second boss, let's see how it's gonna go against the first boss. If I just stand here and start spamming, okay, well, we got, that's good, um, our cooldowns. Okay. 
Okay, so it seems it's not really a problem against the first boss. Okay, good to know, yeah. So I guess it's really just going to become a problem against the second one. Um, and the reason why I'm saying that is, right, they are... So this one had three attacks. The next one, Shu, which, by the way, is anyway very, very annoying. is going to have four. So, yeah... And I'm actually just thinking if I should go and visit Nox, but the only item I would kind of take from him is the um, the mask, where we receive double damage, but we do double damage. Although that's kind of a greedy pick. And on top of that, I would have to get rid of my um, items that I already have, so we are not going to do that. Alright, and as you can see, actually, I have... Oh... No, damn it. I was really hoping to get it. Well, um, as you can see, I have nine, <clears throat> 999 gems. That means, basically, um, I'm not spending them on anything anymore because I bought all items. I have all Arcanas unlocked. So I'm literally spending like maybe 20 to 40 per run. Um, depending if I'm buying a cursed item or not, and um, obviously I'm every time taking the uh, 200 gold to start with. That That's a must be. If you're a new player, which I kind of doubt, um, but still, before you start a run, there is a trader. On the bottom right, um, she's going to give you 200 gold for 20 gems. Always do that. That's such a boost when you have a run. 200 gold, it's a free item. Well, I mean free. It's an item. Or it is um, a spell. There are, I think, not too many spells that cost more. Well, actually not even sure about spells. More about items, right? I don't need to fight there. Okay, let's fight. Nice. Oh, uh, wrong turn. Wrong turn. Oh, uh, don't follow me. Otherwise, she's going to close the shop. Anyway, there is nothing. And we need to go up. All right. So here's the beautiful thing. Um, I mean, obviously, this is the perfect build, in my opinion. Um, if you think differently, and if you would change something... Let me know down below in the comments, interesting um, or interested to hear what you would have picked differently and why. Keep in mind, it kinda should be a Swords Master, right? I mean, sure, you can get creative with your explanation, but yeah, that, that was actually the whole idea here. Everything is somewhat Swords Master adjacent. Um, All right, let's let's brute force this. Actually, oh, talking about brute forcing, um, yep, that was brutal. <laughs> All right. So the beautiful thing about the combination I'm having here is, when we get hit, every following attack is gonna evade. Or if I cannot evade it for whatever reason, it's going to get guarded because of my Leonardo mutant um, ninja turtle shell, right? But at the same time, I can retaliate. They cannot um, interrupt my attacks, right? And I heal back. Oh boy. Well... That happened. Okay, I take it back. You can even do it against the second one. Oh, the, le the magma ball. Dang it. I, I would really love to get one run with the fire enhancement, the rage. Ah, uh, yeah, that would be so amazing. Um... All right. I mean, literally, 
I had that spell twice. I mean, right, not picking it at the beginning, obviously. But twice. And one time was actually in my last video, where I kind of tried to build my Swordmaster. Um, but yeah. It didn't end well. Um, but still, it was actually a pretty good run. We don't... Uh, yeah, let's take that. That's fine. So we spent a little bit of money. I'm not gonna go and check uh, check out the piñata just because I don't like the piñata. <laughs> I mean, usually I don't like it because I, I find it early on in the game and I don't have enough damage to kill the piñata. I, I know I have enough damage now, but I don't care what it's gonna drop. Oh, you sneaky little mage. All right. Nice. Okay. What's the time sync? Probably around 10 minutes? 11, right? Um. Okay, one last try. Come on. Okay. And we are unlucky. Well, okay. Um, is it all the way up there? Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. Guys, guys, guys. Chill. Alright, let, let me show them some damage. Um, oh, okay, this is gonna close, right? Yeah. Mm. Uh, where is it? Dang it. Oh, again. So normally these big guys are a huge problem. Because they interrupt you, right? Um, but even if they don't, right? You, you are open to get hit when you're using one of your canas or even like the basic one because it's not very fast. Um, so very, very... Oh very very dangerous enemies if you don't play an overpowered build as I do right now oh boy well that just happened okay okay uh, I think that stage took me about two minutes hmm so now I'm curious, can I also just stand here and brawl <laughs> with him? Let's check it out. Okay, I guess I can. Yeah, I mean, we lost some health, but overall, uh, pretty good oh so i want to change those all right well more swords um is always welcomed <laughs> okay let's very quickly go through this oh yeah i really just spammed my swords into nowhere okay we have more than thousand gold I'm kind of curious um, if there is a max amount of gold you can have. And the reason why I'm asking is... Um, well, the reason why I'm kind of curious... I would like to try... What is it? Um, a gold build? Because there is at least one item that gives you more damage the more gold you are having. But that would be kind of interesting. Alright. Oh, I really missed. Oh, okay. I took some damage there. Let me get rid of these. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, well, unexpected. Um, let me take the healing potion. 
still no spell, right? No. Ah, damn it. Hmm, should I? Should I? I'm not gonna do it. No, I wanna have a... I wanna have a successful fight here, um, so I'm not gonna do it. Um, oh, okay. Ooh, yeah, that garden is actually pretty good. Alright, so that one was easy. Can I? Yeah, I'm not sure that would work um, if I just stand there. I kind of feel he's still gonna evade most of the attacks. Well, let's see. It's done. Okay, well, that was good. Let's jump to the stats. All right, what are the stats saying? 13 minutes and 51. All right. Um, by the way, I also just received the trophy to beat the trials, the Chaos Trials, in 25 minutes. Obviously, I cheated. Well, um, but still. Well, hey guys, as always, if you enjoyed the video, like it, it helps with the YouTube algorithm. Leave me a comment. What do you think about my ultimate swordsmaster? And would you do something different? And don't forget, subscribing is for free. See you next time.